Hello, everybody. This is Ring in the back for more Oggy Legacy. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, and yes, they don't we're about exactly to talk. Well, we're talking coming, to Poppy. So it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. I mean, the centaurs really the nicest things in the world. The snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Congratulations, they're prophets. I hope they can tell we're sincere, but Poppy, centaurs are just centaurs. They can't yeah, read your they're mind just any horses. better than I could. Perhaps they're horses you're right. with heads. It's just never mind. What <clears> is it? <throat> it's nothing, truly. I've We've no secrets to hide. <laughs> That's right. We'll simply be People honest with, with them about what we're don't trying feel to do. The need to say They'll so. have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them. Tell You're them about the snitches, and poppy. I'm sure to all be fun. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a grand national. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming up around the final jump now. Coming up to the hurdle. The centaurs. Oh yeah, put, put the wand away. I, I, I don't what have enough do power to beat all you're these. Doing here, human. Oh, that Please. dude looks like Santa Claus. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Oh, you don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that, Sento. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. Hey, we ain't doing nothing. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Let's go back to the stable, sunshine. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Nope. Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before Please the poachers do. Please help us. Could it be? Oh, does he believe us? Well, it's nice to know that one cent has a south, brain. there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's a relief. I thought I was going to have to fight a bunch of centaurs. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? It's almost as if he knows that Snidgets are alive. Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Ugh. I don't know. But Those I Centaurs were bloody grouchy, wouldn't they? Not they may as well ally with Ranrock at this I point. Too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Of course, then again. Doran. That's you know, the they'd have to the ally with the poachers him. as well, well, so. If Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now. The evil the enemy later. of my enemy is my friend, perhaps. Start looking into the cave you mentioned. Oh, okay. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's good. I'll let oh, you know okay. what I find. Right. Now we're gonna move on to, to Lodgot's quest. Like and the see no what our little sunshine wants. We are on this beach bit, and we're about to speak to Logdok, Logdok. 
by the looks of it. And oh yeah, we're going to continue Poppy's storyline as well with the centaurs. And they were not very pleasant last time, were they, the centaurs? <laughs> I'd never seen a centaur so riled up before. If the poachers keep doing this, they're going to have a full uprising on their hands. Revelio. Wow, not a bad Hagrid impression. Pop a comment down below. You think that was a good impression of Hagrid? There could be goblin loyalists in here. There's no could, love. It's fact. They're going to be in here. Wait. <sighs> no sign of he's not here. here. He must be inside already. Uh-oh. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like this is going to end well for Lodgot. Uh, why did you why did you ask to meet me outside the mine where the goblin loyalists are? And like maybe maybe he's gone on maybe he's gone rogue, gone to talk to Ranrock on his own. So that could mean Ranrock is here. And if he is, well <laughs> I've been eagerly awaiting this day for months to finally put that goblin six foot under. Actually, we learned something interesting about... Well, I learned something interesting about Ranrock off-camera doing one of the Rebellion. side quests. And, th and that is when he was younger, apparently he was almost beaten to death by a wizard because that wizard dropped his wand accidentally and Ranrock picked it up and offered it to him. But the wizard got really didn't like that. So, d so almost practically beat Ranrock to death because of it. And so you can start to see... Maybe, maybe Ranrock, you know, me. you can start to see why Ranrock is the way he is towards wizard kind. And I feel like he does have wizard phobia, as I like to call it. Where he has a phobia of a, where he shows a hatred towards a group of individuals because of an incident in, involving one member of that individual group. It's like if, say, I don't know, for example, you got, say, say you got ran o run over by a, uh, a footballer, for example, and you didn't forgive him, and then you would associate all footballers as that kind of person. Of course, that's never the case. There's always bad apples in a bunch. You know, just because one person in that group is bad doesn't mean they all are. Rebellion. You know, that's, that is just reality. Look at the size of this mine. Lord Gok, where are you? I know, amazing, Something isn't it? These brainless, brainless brutes this made this mine. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Don't worry, we got, we got what some curses. Crucio! Die! <laughs> Yes. I feel, I feel the power surging through me with every goblin I kill. Revelio. Sorry, what, what are we doing? Oh, right, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Ooh, the darkness is growing inside me. And I enjoy it. Ooh, what's this? This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. <laughs> My character just at this like point Grimlocks. is just proving that Ranrock is right. <laughs> and just massacring goblins for pleasure. Yep. Seems wrong. How deep will this take me? Ranrock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Yeah, but he's not gonna be pleased with all the dead off. soldiers he's gonna have to deal gonna have to bury when I'm Every done with this place. That has to be the end up ahead. Rebellion. Well, I'm looped in first. Yeah, I I don't have a good feeling about Lord Gok here. Oh, 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 it's a Wiganwell potion, but we've, uh, exhumed our resources. Oh, I hope we got a, we got a one of these. Yes. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to have to Accio that. Rebellion. I wonder where these pipes go. No idea. Wait, where do these pipes go? Okay, I'm assuming we go. Oh, okay, yeah. Assuming we gotta go this way. Revelio. 
Oh, we got more. Oh. Good more victims for me to kill. Die! Ah! You gotta pay for that. Oh! Oh, it glitched. Wait, what? Not do no damage to him? Oh, no. Boosh. Might as well burn these potions. Since I've got tons of them. Ooh, what we got there? Hmm. I'm guessing we gotta go that way, so. So, yeah, you know what that means? We're gonna loot this place. Like, come on. How, how are you going to start anything, Rang? Right? You can't even beat a 15-year-old child. Revelio. Well, maybe maybe my character's 16 now. We'll say she's 16. Because we are in winter. Although, then again, if it's my character, then she's still 15 because my birthday's in February. Alohomora. So we'll, we'll say for the sake of this video, that she, for the sake of this gameplay, that she has the same birthday as me, which is the 23rd of February. Right, well, we got in you, I wonder. Oop, is that a chest I see? Gimme, give gimme. Give Hang on, stand back, lads. Oh, it's kind of disappointing. Oh, bugger. That is a troll. Um. Nah, let's go. Come on, boys. I'll take you on. What? Wait, is there a boss? Oh, I died. Oof. Right, Imperial him. So he fights for me. Die, goblin, die! Gotta pay for that. Right, and while he takes them, I'll go loot. Oh, no, no, the Imperial's curse is worn off. Like me using the Imperius curse on him. Rest easy, my large friend. Yep, rest Revelio. easy, my large friend. Right, is there a chest down here? Gotta be something down here. Ooh, hello, hello, we got another one of these. Revelio. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, right. gimme, gimme. Well, I'm guessing this isn't the way to go, so I think I just wasted my time. But it was fun. A few less goblins in the world, they say. Ah, you got good done. Oh, wait, what's up here? Yeah. Oh, this chest up here. Yeah. Come to Papa. Oh, that's kind of meh. Oh. 
Right, let's go this way. And I see some more goblins. Well, the amount you lot are mining will we'll collapse under our feet. There'll be more sinkholes than a... Um, there'll be more craters on this planet than on the moon. Wait, where is he? Wait, hang on, Rat. You're telling me Ramrock's here. Die! I got a all trembling before my power. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I keep killing all of you. Ow! Ow! Where does this one lead? The beaten path, I suspect. Die! Ow! Dead. Got him! Got him! Fight me! Because I'm awesome. Blood's on Ranrock's hands. That's right! It is on Ranrock's Venom. hands. Which means I can keep killing goblins to my heart's content. I'd better light these boilers if I want to go any further. One step ahead of you, love. One step ahead of you. Right, where's Ranrock? Come on, Ranrock. Get down here. I want to see what that face of yours looks when I press crush it against the wall. Ah, ah, look, the little pussy pissed himself. He's terrified of me, Ranrock. Is he's terrified? He knows. He knows. He's I no match for me. Another oh. drill is Ah, there great. you are, sunshine. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. Yeah, I let's. Yeah, let's end this. We can end. Ranrock's we can lists. kill him. Forget the loyalists, we can kill Ranrock. He's literally up there. Oh, damn it, should have hit the troll. No, I didn't want to hit him, I wanted to hit the troll. Wait, is that all of them dead? Right. Crucio him. Damn right, boy. Ooh. Actually, the troll could bring it down for me. Alright, good, the troll's dead. Alright, anyone else? Collapse all pillars to destroy the drill. Oh, okay. Guess we'll use oh, Bombarda. Hit, hit. Bring the whole mine and crush Ranrock with it. <laughs> oh no, I have a pity in it. You. Yes, it's me. That is unfortunate. Damn right it is. We will build another. Oh look, it's Lord Gok. Ranrock's little pet. Come to make amends, little brother. Oh damn! Wait, they're bloody brothers? I came to stop this. What is I this mean, you kind of had a sense of that, it, that they knew each other, that they were related. Well, you can see who inherited the good genes in that family. Dude. 
Don't! Are you all right? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So gullible. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. Oh, yeah? Then why are you teaming with that piece of lowlife there? They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. Yeah, exactly. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragbore's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a Ooh. child. He didn't like that. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I mean, I'm sorry, Rookwood, but what did you expect? You are a traitor to our kind. <gasps> oh no! Wait. Oh, come on, you absolute loser. You can't even hit him with the killing curse. He's five feet in front of you, you amateur. You don't even deserve to cast that spell. What a loser. At least when I do it, though, right, well, I'll hit him and I'll kill him. Well, that took an unexpected turn. by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, R Ranrock has to die. Yeah, R Ranrock's gotta die. He's gotta die. Now to get out of this blasted place. And Rookwood, well, that guy's, that guy's a big mouth loser. Can't even use a killing curse on a goblin that's five feet in front of him. Pitiful. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. I won't allow I won't allow some gremlin to take control of my birthright. I think we're approaching the end game now. Just gotta kill Ranrock. <gasps> And yeah, it looks it looks like the Rookwood and Ranrock aren't working together anymore. So we only got Ranrock to worry about and well, Rookwood's no threat. He's a wuss. Do, 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 do. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the lot According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Yeah, you know, the one that matters. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbore's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He killed he Lodgok. Knows where the last repository is. All right, press F in the comment hard. section for Lodgok. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need Damn to know right where the final repository is. And he will pay for his misdeeds. Surely this changes things. And Ranrock the only courage I accept, only currency I accept is death. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals. Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed hmm, what she did a for bit her nervous. father. Which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Beasts? Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. A dragon, maybe? 
An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. Wait, I thought I gave him I shall way. see you near the coast. But he Weasley. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Although, Figgy, maybe we could use her help. Right, we gotta meet Figgy at Sambacar's pensive chamber. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Makes sense. Oh, we need to find a clue to open the pensive Rebellion. chain. Well, I wonder if it's got something to do with that. Actually, if this is the start of the fourth trial, then... I'm inclined to not do this yet and to do the other quest, the centaur and the stone, which I think I'll do now. All right, Poppy. I take it what this we means got? you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. I know you should be well, proud of yourself. Well, I'm sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. Makes it's sense. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumour, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, this is how I lose my sanity. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Didn't you two know what curiosity did to the cat? I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Eh, we could do with Ominous here, since he's already blind. <laughs> Shall we get Ominous in on this? Since he's already blind. Right, let the fun begin. Find the moonstone. Avelio. Lewis. Oh, you're joining me. We miss Sweetin. Good for you. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? Revelio. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Accio. Oh, God. More spiders. Please, no more spiders. I'm going to have arachnophobia by the time this game ends. <laughs> Uh oh, I see something. Get ready. It's another oh, but oh, oh, it's one of those things. Well, you're gonna do something, love. You never fully fight these things. What do you mean, what is going on with them? But he tried to kill us. Well, me specifically. Um, okay. Oh, hang on. Ooh, there's something behind you. Ah, it's one of these butterfly things. So that means there's got to be a butterfly door around here. And I'm going to guess it's down this corridor because I can see another butterfly. No? Okay, well, we need to put the butterfly on there. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, I love that sound. So well, so accurate as well. It's brilliant. Here goes nothing again. Right, what did that do? Ooh! Quick! No, oh, damn it! Right, no, there's a chest up there. Hang on, I wanna, I wanna loot this chest. Oh, okay. 
Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think we need to go that to get that chest anyway. I can get, I can get that off camera. Let's press on. Ooh, hello. What is? Revelia. Foibers. I beg your pardon. This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Oh, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I'm going mad. Uh, should we go this way? I guess not. Guess we gotta go this way. Huh. Huh. I don't know, this seems too easy. Oh, I ain't opening that, there's bloody spiders in there. If the moonstone is here and so are Fwoopers here, I wonder if it's being protected. Well, I suspect we gotta fight something. Wait, are they bones? Is this another one of them bone things? Revelia. Maybe not. Oh, oh, I see. It's like a collection chest. Why am I not surprised? First the Fwoopers and now this. Just do all the work and you do Another nothing. Obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Right, we're probably gonna need another moth. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, there's a moth down there. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Do we have to cross this? Okay, we're probably going to need the uh, other moth. Lumos. <laughs> this might actually be cheating. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it this way, but I'm doing it this way. Right, what did that do? Ah, okay, yes. I think I see what we have to do. We have to get three moths into that door. And then... Berlin, it's beautiful. You're going to come across or not? Lumos. Right, I need to find three moths now, so that's one. This will be this one can be number two. And that one over there will be number three. I get good at these puzzles. Yes, come to me, moth, come to me. Oh, we haven't had to fight anything yet, so. That concerns me. Rebellion. Well, except for that weird you dung bomb it. thing. Oh, guess I spoke too soon. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Likewise. <laughs> well, it's done now. Ow. Wait. Wait, did she use a Chinese chomping cabbage? Dude, that's awesome. Not as awesome what's going to be in this chest. Nope, nope. The Chinese chomping cabbages are awesome. 
In the mood for a swim, Poppy? Oh. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Shall we take a closer look? Well, we will, but I want this chest first. Oh, we get to dive deep. Ah. Oh, wow. A lot of water here. Oh, I see a fupa. Oh, it's pretty. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's Damn got right to this. be here. I just know it. Oh wait, that's that's the way we came from, and then we end we just ended up up here. Ah. Given what you was known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that creatures haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Epic. Revelio. Well, do you see a Moonstone? Because I don't. We found it! Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need Yay, to bring it to the hinge. Oh, we got to talk to Poppy. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Yeah, Shall that's boogie. Shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with snidges. The clock is Agreed. ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Oh, bro! Oh, oh, no, no! Oops! <laughs> I forgot there was a cavern she there. She set up catawalling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidges. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I can't fly up, damn it. Alright, I'll work my way up like every normal person does. Pavelio. Guess this is it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. And then everyone died. Ooh, pretty. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a moon calf. He big eyes. <laughs> now this is a girl's night out. Ooh. Oh, they're drawing something. <laughs> was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare ah, it is to see even one? moon calf one? dance. They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one but two moon <gasps> calf dances. She'll be jealous. Jealous indeed. You've seen this before. It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually I... Ooh, we're getting backstory. Ooh, she seems hesitant. If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. <laughs> Poor At sod. First, they Has rotten luck, her, doesn't she? But soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. 
I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Now that, that's a bombshell. I, I wasn't no. expecting that. I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. Wow. I never fitted okay, in. I, I, I wasn't but expecting that. The older that. I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So, so that's I. interesting. If she, so if her parents were poachers, I was unable to help when I was younger. Given now that that's her grand seems to care a lot about beasts and such, it seems a bit odd that her parents, that her, you know, well, I don't know which we don't know which side of the family that Gran is on. We'll, we'll say for the sake of the father's side, that her son would be a poacher. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, you can't save all of them, but yeah, From we're doing well. We're doing seen. well. You're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've yeah, never just told a bit. anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk wow. about it with. That is one hell of a bombshell. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving the dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now yeah, that I'm older, stick it to them. I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? I'm, I'm genuinely the curious. The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If well, you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Okie dokie. Well, I've practically committed poacher genocide, so... Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least Ooh, that's what it is looks like. Is it a phoenix, like. perhaps? Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidgets lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Oh, uh, okay. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Hey, we did it! Bye-bye, Poppy. See you soon. Well, um, yeah, that's probably going to be it for this session. It's probably been over an hour. Well, I'm pretty sure it has. Rebellion. So yeah, an interesting episode. Got really dark there with Loggok dying. I was worried. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Oh yeah, because he's blind. Ooh, looks like we got some tea. We got some teas for the next episode. All right, let's have a look. My man, ominous. <laughs> Ooh, look what we could get. We could get it. We can finally get the killing curse. But we're going to save that for the next session. So until then, ta-ta.